It's Hayley, welcome back to the Hay Meadow. You're not gonna believe this. I've just shot probably half the video without pressing the record button. It was good too. I had some really good wisecrack jokes in there. The box is half open. It's a travesty, it really is. So let's uh, start this again, shall we? So welcome. Welcome back to the Hay Meadow. Um, as I said, my name's Hayley. Welcome back to all my subscribers. And if you're new here, come on in. Make yourself comfortable. Hope you've made a coffee. Sometimes I can talk for a bit longer than you'd expect. Anyway, first of all, we'll start off with uh, what I'm wearing. Now, there's the obligatory knock of the table, shake of the camera. Um, or phone, I should say. <laughs> I'm not that high tech that I've got a camera. Um, so you were probably thinking there when you saw this fabric, oh, she's trying to sneak in one of those t-shirts that she's made. Well, you are mistaken. I've not done that at all. This is the Mary Ann dress by Wardrobe By Me. Now I did um, say that I've made a dress out of that leftover fabric. Um, and this is it. So I'm going to put some pictures in here of me twirling and whirling and all the rest of it. However, before we get to that, let me just sneak a peek. Yeah. So this is the wardrobe by me, Mary Ann dress. It is a knit dress. Um, it has a couple of collar options. So there's a, um, sharp corner collar there. And there's also just a flat, um, rounded collar, um, I'm not sure what those collars are referred to by. Um, but yeah, so it's like it's a knit um, shirt dress. And yeah, it's really comfortable. Now, as you can see in my um, twirls that are probably playing here somewhere, I missed my calling. I obviously should have been a model. Look at those poses. Uh, it's just action packed. Look at those facial expressions. Like, look at that toe pointing. Can you see that toe pointing? Professional in the making there. Oh, well, I missed my calling. But here I am. So now, as you can see from those photos um, of my twirls in the dress, it really needs a belt. Now, it does come with a tie belt, but I didn't make it because it was thin. And I just kind of, they kind of get a bit lost sometimes but what I was thinking of making is the forget-me-not patterns Gemma tie belt now this is sort of along the lines of an OB belt now when I say that that's a very loose explanation as you can see it's um, it's wider and then it's got the little ties in the center there now I'm pretty sure this is actually a free pattern um, so yeah, I know there is a free OB belt pattern. I can't remember who it's by. So I'm not gonna say who I think it could be by because I'll probably be wrong. Before we get onto the box, I wanted to introduce another Aussie vlogger. There's a new one. Now, if you love the Australian accent and why wouldn't you? I'm assuming that's why you keep coming back here. It's gotta be a reason. Then you might be interested in checking out Deb from DB Designs and Sewing Australia. So Deb is a new YouTube vlogger, a sewing vlogger, a new Aussie. I think she said she was based in Melbourne. Sorry, Deb, if that's not true, but um, you are now. Um, so yes, yeah, so Deb has a couple of videos out. Her most recent one, she's actually showing us some, a, a lot of sewing that she's done and the way she organises her sewing projects. This woman is amazing. I'm not sure if she was professionally uh, a seamstress or whether she just has a long love of sewing. I think she said she'd been sewing for something like 40 years. If that's not true, just pretend that I didn't say that. So one of the plans that Deb has is for a denim coat. So she's seen an inspiration coat and it's it's dyed and everything. So she is planning a long sewing project of replicating this coat. So definitely head over, check out Deb's video. I'll pop a link down in the description box below. Now, why are we here? 
we're here to talk about the Dahlia Society's September bespoke subscription box, which is based around the Secret Garden book. Now, I will admit straight up, I haven't read that book. However, reading the, the synopsis um, that I went and Googled before I uh, press play or record um, or didn't, the book looks really interesting. So once I finished the Harry Potter History of Magic, which is currently in Audible, uh, playing as I drive to and from work, that's what I'll be watching. Speaking of work, I've just finished. Now, I got notification on Friday that this box would be coming. So uh, normally when I work from home, it said I'd probably get it either today, Monday, or um, between today and Wednesday. I work from home on a Monday. Now, normally when I'm working from home, I have on track pants or sweatpants, you might call them. We call them trackies here in Australia because we like to shorten everything. Um, so, yeah, so I would normally wear trackies and just a comfy, like, sweatshirt or something like that. Uh, my hair would not be done. <laughs> it would look a bit like a bird's nest. Um, <laughs> so... This is not what a bird's nest looks like, just in case you're wondering. Just calm that bit down there. Um, but yes, but because I knew that today I could possibly get my bespoke box, I thought I would um, actually put a teensy little bit of effort in. Um, so that's what I did. And um, I was actually on a conference call with the boss, of all people, when the box arrived. So I did hear it because the window is right there and the door is right there. The front door is right there. Um, however, I didn't think the boss would appreciate me saying, look, just hold on a minute. My fabric box has arrived. I'll just duck out and grab that. No, I didn't think she'd appreciate that. So I, once I finished, though, I was straight out that door, brought that box in got myself set up, I thought, I better get this done because there are people out there, out there with you in YouTube land who are waiting to see what's in this box this month. So as I said, it's the September bespoke box and it's based on The Secret Garden. So I'll be I'll be reading that book very, very soon. Now, unlike some other people, <laughs> I don't try and guess what's in there. I like the surprise. Uh, and probably because I hadn't read the book, so there is that as well. Back to the box. So, yes, you've missed my extreme stealth plastic cutting and taking out. Um, so I can't redo that. There's no point in redoing that. But I did get a couple of extra things in the uh, box this month um, because I saw on Instagram that um, Kristen had uh, a new product. Um, so I thought I would grab one of those as well. Now, while I was there, and I may have mentioned last time that um, Kristen is actually now stocking the Goodman Mariflex thread here in Australia. I'm not going to put you through the whole stretching and showing and blah de blah de blah There's other people that have already gone through that. And I'll probably talk to you a bit more um, when I do my video on the t-shirts that I'm making because I've used Mariflex in all of those. Needless to say, I am slowly building up uh, my Mariflex collection, um, starting off with the usual colours. So I've got a couple of reds, a couple of black, a couple of navy, um, a couple of white. Well, one white because I've used a full one. Um, so yeah, so I'll just gradually be adding to that collection. Probably need some grey. Grey tends to be a neutral that I use. You can use that for lots of things. I don't need to tell you people this. You know that. You know all these things. Anyway, one thing that I did see that I hadn't seen before was the Clover, uh, what's it called? The Clover Clip and Glide Bodkin. Now, I thought this was pretty nifty, to be honest. So you can see this little clip here. So you open that up and then that holds your ribbon or your elastic or whatever it is that you're um, pushing through. And as you can see, it's really flexible. That's cool. And then it's got the sharp end there, so you can, um, you know, push it through. Um, yeah, I thought that was worth a shot. I do have the traditional bodkins, um, but yeah, I'm always up for a new little, little thing. Okay, that's enough yabbering on. 
let's get to the real reason we're here. Now, in the previous video that I didn't shoot because it wasn't a video, it was just me talking to the little dot there on my phone for nothing. Anyway, I did show you the lovely box because I really do like Kristen's box. It's really lovely. Um, she has, the, oh, that's really, that's awesome. That's a win. Let's do that. So she has her little own bespoke stickers there, which before was not cut, looked really pretty. Mm. Here we go with the uh, lovely burgundy paper, tissue paper there. <laughs> Let's dive in. Ooh. So we'll start with the, the postcard. And the secret garden bloomed and bloomed and every morning revealed new miracles. So I'm going to assume that that's from the book. Oh, it's double-sided. So that was the first side. That was what I read just then. Now on the other side and upside down, it says, I can't read it backwards. If you look the right way, you can see that the whole world is a garden. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And really the world is. When you, when you strip away all of the BS that we tangle ourselves up in in this modern world, the world really is a garden. We take for gr we take for granted so many things these days. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is my little uh, secret video from Kristen, where she'll go through the box and the contents, and she's also going to talk about uh, there'll be a discount code on here for a pattern, which there is. Oh, oh, I haven't seen that one before. Oh. Mm, now I know what the fabric is too. Um, yes, <clears throat> lost my place, carry on. Um, now, of course, we get a little uh, a little label. So this one says, slow fashion, ethically made. I'm hoping that that's what that says. If I do this, maybe you'll be able to see it because it won't be able to see my face. That is totally not focusing. Trust me, that's what that says. Okay, oh. Now, I'll start with the edible because that's what I always do. And we have the Whisk and Pin Gourmet Original Mountain Granola, handcrafted with Blue Mountains honey, almond, and organic apricot. That sounds delicious. And look at the little, little butterfly. Now that sounds great. Have I got any yogurt in the fridge? I don't think I do. I think I'll be getting some yogurt when I um, go shopping at some stage because that's going to be great. Um, I can't remember what it's called. You put the yogurt in and then you put the granola in or your um, whatever it is, muesli, and then you um, leave it overnight and it's all beautiful the next day. That's what I'm going to do with that. Okay, the next is the, I'm going to, I'm thinking this is probably, it could be the maker or it could just be the little gift. So this is a little coaster. How cute is that? I really like that. Now I am actually one for a coaster. I usually will have coasters everywhere. Um, so this is going to come in real handy. I'm actually going to take the one that I keep going back and forward to the sewing room uh, and replace it with this one. I've got one that I have on my desk. It's, um, it's, it's really classy. It's one of those ones made of scuba fabric, but it was made specifically for me in a previous job that I had. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it because it's probably embarrassing. It's one of those, you know, you know this is Haley's coaster. So that's gonna be replaced now with this beautiful one. So that's a little artwork. I'm not sure of the artist. I don't know. I'll probably find out in the vlog, in the secret vlog. Okay, which you're not going to get to see because you didn't get the box. <laughs> one of the benefits of getting the secret box. Okay, the next is a, oh, yum, marshmallow hand cream by Moore. 
Ooh, let's have a go of that. That's one of the best things about getting these boxes. Marshmallow hand cream will take off the little thing. Ooh. <laughs> I hope you saw that spurt out. I hope it didn't almost go up my nose. Anyway, it's all class here. I think I've said that before. I'll probably say that many times. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Mmm. I'm trying to see what the scent is. It doesn't smell like marshmallows, just so you know. No, it doesn't say what the actual scent is. It's sort of, maybe, almost a bit like musk lollies. <laughs> so maybe it is marshmallow. That's nice. Mmm, I like that. Okay, what's next? We have an iron-on motive. Oh, that's really nice. So that's a little iron-on motive from Birch. So like a hummingbird, I guess that probably is. Oh, so, yes, yeah, so that's really cute. Little iron-on motive. I like to use those sorts of things on like plain fabric stuff. So I actually probably need to start making some plain fabric garments. Okay, little bag. I wonder what's in here. Oh, 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 that's going to come in handy. Oh, so we've got a cup of tea. So we have Chelsea Garden white tea with flavouring. This rose scattered white tea is a treat for anyone with green fingers. Now you'll know why that's interesting in a minute. And of course, this is all themed around the secret garden. So of course, you know, um, birds and a packet of flower seeds. Now, aren't they gorgeous? Now, here's a secret for you. My partner and I are starting to look at houses. I'm going to pop this away because... I reckon there's going to be a future garden that's got some stasis. It is stasis. Status. I'm sorry, Arnie Robin, if I've pronounced that wrong. Actually, it's probably Arnie Suzanne who's going to watch this and go, that's not how you say that. That's how I'm going to say it. So that's going to be going in my new garden in the new, near, distant future sometime. Oh, and we've got a little lolly. So I'm, I'm not sure who's going to eat that because I don't eat lollies as much. Chocolate, yes. Lollies, not so much. Now, here is my Gutterman thread and we have green. So this is, it's not really a bottle green. Um, should I say a hunter green? Look at me pretending like I know the difference between greens. It's a darkish, nice green. I like it. That's probably the most important thing. Now, we're at the exciting bit. I'm going to have to show you this because this is so cute. How lovely is that? So, let's delve into our secret garden. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, I haven't even talked about, listen to my voice. No croaking. I was going to say no coughing, but I just did. Maybe I'll cut that bit out and you won't know. Um, but yes, so this is what I sound like. <laughs> I'm not sure if any of my videos... Did I have a cough in my first video? Was my vo voice croaky in the first video? I can't remember. It was a while ago now. But um, so this is what my voice sounds like. It's probably annoying. Oh, well. Um, so what my little thing tells me is that I have a 100% cotton lawn waiting for me in here. Russell, Russell, Russell. Oh, wow. How gorgeous is this? This is beautiful. Look at that. 
Wow. Let me get the tissue paper out because that'll stop the rustling. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. That is beautiful. Now, I like a large scale print. Look at that. How nice is that? I really like that. This is beautiful, Kristen. Look at those flowers. I'm not worried about you looking at the flowers. I'm looking at the flowers at the moment. Look at the colours in that. So for those of you lamenting the end of your summer and heading into um, autumn or fall, depending where you are, we, on the other hand, are not that you would know from the rain outside, but we're actually going into spring. Um, so it's the spring equinox in next week, I think it is actually. Um, so we're going into spring and heading into summer. Now, I'm not a big fan of summer. But I don't mind spring, apart from the hay fever. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I can see some really lovely blouses. Maybe even a dress. I'm not really much of a dress wearer. Those photos that you saw earlier probably tell you why I'm not much of a dress wearer. Anyway, um, so I am actually looking at some blouses um, and looking at some of the patterns that I'll probably be making up. And I can see some happening in this. Although looking at this, this probably needs to be like a like a shift dress. I can see a nice little like plain shift dress. Maybe something like the Tilly and the Button Stevie. Just a nice little um, woven, I'll say t-shirt dress for want of a better word, but a shift dress, a woven shift dress. That would be lovely because you need something that's like the lines are simple. So actually it's the fabric that you're taking notice of, not necessarily the dress itself. But look at that. That is so lovely and drapey. Is it? No, it's not. It's, it's opaque. Can you see me? Um, yeah, this is going to be beautiful. I really like this. Well picked, Kristen. Well picked. That is gorgeous. I've sort of set the camera up this time, haven't I? That's lovely. Look at those prints. Look at those flowers. Don't forget, ladies, watch for your, your pattern placement. You don't want flowery bobs. That's what we call boobs. I call boobs. Anyway, that's enough about boobs. What sort of channel is this? Let's just fix that up again. Well, here we are. We are at the end of another vlog. Slightly shorter. Once I get rid of some of the extra stuff that might not be of interest or because I've just rabbited on endlessly because I have a habit of doing that apparently. Um, there we are. We've come to the end. Thanks for joining me wandering through the secret garden. I will be enjoying a lovely breakfast probably on the weekend after I do some shopping and get some yogurt. Um, what would you make out of that fabric? What do you think of my idea of a Stevie or a, a shift dress of some description? Hmm. I'll be interested to hear. Oh, my hands smell so yummy. <laughs> anyway, stop, stop, Ailey, just stop. <laughs> until next time which will probably be next week because I reckon there's going to be a parcel coming from the island of Ireland heading my way very soon and I know that you are just as excited to see what's in there as I am so until then bye Look at me, all professional YouTuber. I'll pop a link down below. Anyway, I'll pop a link down below. Um, so go and check out Deb's videos, or video, there's only a couple. Go and check out Deb's videos. And um, yeah, hopefully you like her as much as I do. 
hopefully I can save that bit.